Okay, we ordered a motor for our go-kart, and I found this motor online. I actually did a decent amount of searching. I had ordered one motor um, because I was told by the company that um, that this that built the go-kart that this motor would fit, that it would bolt right on. It did not, so I went ahead and ordered this. And this motor actually came from Home Depot, and I'll put a link below to this motor. Uh, it's a five... Uh, 5 8 inch, 3 horsepower, 79 cc, OHV recoil start, horizontal shaft gas engine. And I'll give you the part number there um, at some point. But I just wanted to open this up for you to show you what we have here. Completely surrounded, um, wrapped with shrink wrap, which is great. Looks like it's well packaged. I do hear kind of some clatter uh, when I lift up that motor. That's not a great sign. But it might just be a part in there, so. Doesn't say top or bottom on this motor, so I'm assuming it doesn't matter. Assuming there's no oil in here. Got all the wrap off of there. Now we've got some bands on here. It says that this item is not for return. It's a Liffin Power Products motor. So it should say Liffin right on it. Made in China. And I cannot read that, but it's Chinese. It does have some Chinese writing there. You can probably hear that clatter in there. I'm not totally sure what that is. It's kind of, sounds like a bell in there. Comes with owner's manual, some paperwork there, and a spark plug. Oh, you know what that clattering was? The spark plug wrench. So nothing to worry about there. Some foam, then we've got the motor sitting in there just like that. Take, lift this motor out, and that is it. Set this motor on the bench here. I just wanna check that everything's gonna look identical to the motor that we have. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to install this motor here. We've got a cracked cover there. I'm hoping that our side cover will work on it. Definitely going to call the company on that if it doesn't. If it does fit, if our old one fits just fine, I'm just going to take that one off there because I don't really want to wait for... Oh, this is all cracked. You're kidding. Okay. That's what happens when you ship stuff, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do an engine swap on this uh, Monster Moto Go Kart, the 79cc uh, gas power motor here, and uh, the crank went bad on it. Uh, I'm assuming low on oil, um, but anyway, you can get a motor for a couple hundred dollars. I'm gonna show you the process of uh, pulling this apart, uh, and we're gonna have to switch out the sprocket stuff like that. But I wanted to show you how to do that quick. Uh, while I've got it up here. First thing you're gonna do is pull this wheel off. We've gotta get to the sprockets and chains over here. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of side dykes. And some of this video, I'm gonna have to be in the way for. Okay, side dykes there. Straighten off this cotter pin. Pull that through there. And go ahead and remove this nut. You can tell they're not extremely tight. This is a 13 16 nut. It's got a washer on it. Now we're going to be able to pull our tire off. Underneath of the tire there, you'll see we've got a, a pin there. You want to make sure you keep that together because that's what keeps your wheel um, attached to the axle there. We've got some broken bolts here, 10 millimeter bolt up front there. Typically you would take these off as well, but this is just going to get removed. Pull this off there. Now you see our chains underneath there. We've got our clutch drive here. Uh, we've got our sprocket going down. 
This would be our counter shaft sprocket here, goes down to our uh, rear sprocket here. So I'm gonna pull these bolts off at this time. Okay, we've got a 10 here and a 12 here. Pretty easy to do there. These were Loctited on, you wanna make sure we do that going back together. Now all three of these can be pulled off kind of at the same time. I'm gonna pull this chain off of here just so we're not trying to grab, hold on to three different things. Now that sprocket comes off with that chain there. Those appear to be in good condition. Okay, you wanna make sure you've got a pin that runs here. You wanna make sure that that's in there uh, when we're going back together. So. I didn't see it stuck in here. Typically they would stay here. Ours actually just stayed in the clutch. Okay, we've got four bolts we've got to pull off here. And this actually, this plate is all gonna come off together. There's a shaft back here. And uh, that holds our sprocket here. That's our clutch here. So that is a 12 millimeter. And then we've actually got an Allen up here. I don't know why the difference. I've got my ACVCIY band here that I can throw my sockets on. on. Hold things close by. And we've got our Allen here. I'm gonna throw that one on there too, just so I have it. Okay, so our new motor did not come with this plate here. So we just need to throw that on there. And like I said, just four volts to pull that off. It actually works as a tightener, a tensioner for that one of those chains. So make sure you keep all your bolts together. You see there, thread lock on there. You've got a, a lock washer and a regular washer. Set those aside there. And like I said, we're reusing this plate, so keep that close by. Now we've got our bolts coming in from the bottom, and then we've got a couple different cables that we're going to have to remove. I'm gonna grab a short socket, I think, to get underneath here. We'll grab a 13 millimeter wrench here, and zip these off of here. Okay, keep those bolts together. Do the same on the front. Grab my 12 millimeter socket with a long extension. I think I can get these from the top. Okay, got a washer underneath of there, along with a nut. Go to the back side and the other side here. Again, I'm gonna just set these right below there. That way we know which ones go where. We make sure I keep our washers with the bolts there and the washers with the nuts. So we've got these have actually lock washers on the top. I don't know, sometimes they don't do this the way that I would have done it, but it is what it is. And our motor's ready to come off. We've got uh, some electrical wires on the other side. I'm gonna show you how to remove those as well as the throttle cable there. Cut. All right, we've got an eight millimeter in the back here, and that's gonna be our ground wire. So it's our green wire. We've got a red wire as well. And I haven't followed that up. That actually goes underneath of the cover. I'm just gonna remove this ground wire here. Just a little bolt.
I think this is the only eight millimeter on this, in this area here, so you shouldn't get it too confused, but that's what it looks like there. And then we've got this red wire going to our black wire there. I'm pretty sure that goes to the coil, would be my guess. So I'll set that aside. We'll keep that bolt right by there. Now we've got our throttle cable, and I believe this motor is ready to completely come out of here. So grab a Phillips screwdriver. Loosen up this here, and we're going to need a wrench. Ten millimeter wrench here to hold this. Loosen this up. You don't have to loosen up very far, and then take and loosen this up here. That's what holds that throttle cable in the place there, and we'll be able to just go. Pull that out. We might have to loosen this just a little bit more. There we go. That slides right out of there. Now our new motor is going to have all this on there anyways. So this motor is ready to come out. Just lift it out just like this. And like I said on the previous uh, part of this video, um, I'm going to have to replace this cover here. This air filter housing is bad on the new one. I'm going to set this aside there. Grab the new motor, set it in there. Looks great. We've got some warning stickers there we're going to leave on. this. We've got a uh, plastic cover over there. Several different um, warnings saying there's no gas in here, there's no oil in here, so make sure we pay attention to that. Okay, so I have this motor here, our old motor, and I've got our throttle that looks like this. Now the throttle on the new one is similar to it, but you can see here, you've got your idle that, that goes up and then your throttle here that you just push this lever. So if you're putting this motor on say a tiller, you would, you would turn it on kind of at a slower speed, a start area, then you give it throttle to speed this up. This motor is going on a go-kart, so you wanna be able to control that with the pedal. So what I'm gonna to have to do is take the, the throttle assembly off of here and put it onto here. Looks like two eight millimeter bolts down there. I think from what I can tell, they've made, made that fairly easy to do. The other thing that we need to take off here is gonna be this piece here. And this is what holds a spring. And this is gonna go on the motor, so I'm gonna do that right now. So I know exactly where it goes. Okay, now I've got to remove the throttle on the other one. Throttle there has got to come off and be put on. We've got to basically pull that eight millimeter and that eight millimeter. And there's a couple different springs. So I've already pulled one spring off. That's the larger one that goes from here to that piece that we just installed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these eight millimeters. Put these up here so we know where they are. This spring is gonna, let's see, we've got the small st spring on the other motor already. I'm gonna slide that off of there. Now you can see the difference here in these. And we've got this one that's got a, a hand lever. And then we've got this one here that's got a, a place for your cable. So we're gonna take and put the cable one on this one. All right. Okay, we've got that on there. Now we've got to hook up our springs. Okay, and then we have our larger spring that goes here and hooks into that area that we just put back together there. And there we go. Now when we push the throttle, that's gonna go. Okay, before I hook that throttle cable up, I'm gonna hook these motor mount so this isn't sliding around while we're trying to do this. Some thread lock on these, on this one as well. And then you gotta slide it right through our chain adjuster there. Up through there, we've got our bolts that, or nuts that sit on the top here. These are locking nuts. 
Throw a wrench on here so we have it when we need it. What do you know? Small sockets right here. 10 millimeters back on the wrist. I'm gonna slide this one up right now. Go through here, put our nut on there. Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna, I'm going to install the front ones. And you can kind of leave, you don't have to tighten these up yet because you will need to tighten that chain when we get to that point of getting the chains on there. So these front ones, I know you guys can't see it, but these drop down actually from the top. The bolts do, and then you've got the nuts that come in from the bottom. For now, I'm just gonna snug these up. We're not gonna tighten them all the way yet until we get that those chains on there. Okay, while we've got the camera over here, I'm gonna put this cable on and make sure that everything is lined up so you're not turning that cable at an angle that it shouldn't be turned. And then I just kind of take the slack out of this cable here and tighten this up. Again, we need our 10 millimeter. Just snug it all the way up. And we've got a plate here. Put some thread lock on these bolts. And then tighten down our Allen here. Okay. Then we've got this. Line this up and there's a washer in there. You wanna make sure you got that straight. Make sure that's lined up. And then before you get too far, we gotta get our other socket on here. And then we gotta line these teeth up. So you can actually take and spin that clutch until this bottom one is lined up. Clutch is all the way on. Trying to get this one right into place here. That one's sliding in. That one's all the way in. Okay, put some thread lock on these. Red lock there. Okay, those chains, this one actually could be tighter. So what I'm gonna do is loosen these up just with a wrench. Because these sprockets are so small, these are a lot bigger. Um, there's almost no free play here. This here though, uh, is getting a little on the loose side. So you wanna make sure you don't get it too tight. But I just take and stuck my screwdriver in here. Okay, and that's about where we want it. So, and then before we put our sprocket cover on here and then get our uh, rear wheel on, I'm actually gonna put oil in there and, uh, and then we can put the rest of it back together. Here's our dipstick here. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here. Fill cap is over here. It takes 0.3 liters, so that's a third, about a third of a quart. Before we go out and ride it, I'm gonna double check those engine mount bolts to make sure that we have the right torque on those. You don't want those loosening up while you're riding. I know we did put thread lock on there, um, but just nothing you want to um, have loosening up on you. Okay, checked on our dipstick. Our oil level is good. 
Now I have this wheel up here. I'm actually gonna prop the back end up all together. I'm gonna start this motor uh, after we put some fuel in there and uh, just make sure those back tires spin. Obviously, front can stay on the ground. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right. Go ahead and turn that on, run and start, okay? Wanna make sure our throttle works okay. Yep, take that off. Now we've got our air filter cleaner here. We need to uh, pull this, oops. But I'm gonna do that here after I fire it up. Make sure the on position is on on. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that side cover on there. I'm gonna throw that wheel on there and uh, change out that air filter. That is a complete engine swap on the Monster Motor 80, well, 79cc, three horsepower motor. If you've found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Check out our channel for hundreds of other service videos on different machines, different makes, different models, years. Uh, engine teardowns, engine rebuilds, stuff like that. So check that out. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Thanks for watching.